All right, so I bought this uh, Road Shock LED light bar. Um, this is what it looks like from Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, I'm going to mount this on my 2019 Yamaha Wolverine. Now, what you could do is take the existing mounts here and probably just bolt them to the plastic roof. Um, this is a pretty heavy unit and you know, when you go off-roading, you're definitely gonna bounce around a little bit. So my feeling is, is that this would be much better off on a, a bar. Um, Yamaha does make a specific light bar for this. Cheapest one uh, they make is $700. This with a Harbor Freight coupon was, I think, uh, around $40. So significant uh, price difference. So instead, what I'm gonna do is basically I've got some tube steels here. I've got a one, one inch, uh, sixteenth of an inch thickness, so one by one. And then I've got a one and a quarter by one and a quarter, and this is uh, eighth of an inch thick. And so what I'm going to do is I bought some, I bought some, some mounts that are essentially flag mounts, but they um, are really nicely machined. And those will basically clamp onto uh, the roll cage. And then I'm gonna use some lengths of this. And that's why this is so thick, because that's where I think most of the stress will be. And I wanna make sure that um, you know, I have something fairly thick here. I'm going much thinner steel on this, because uh, I'm trying to keep the weight down on um, this light bar. And so this 16th of an inch should be fine for that. And then the plan is, to take this light bar, is to basically make it so this can bolt on. Uh, as I get a little deeper into the project, I may end up uh, welding this on. Uh, just have, just depends on how, you know, how I feel once I get the whole thing assembled. And because obviously when I drill a hole, um, it's gonna take a little bit of the strength out of this. You know, I wanna get a sense for how um, how strong this is once I kind of get it fitted and on the machine and the reality is that you know I like one of the nice things about having bolt bolting this on you just never know maybe this you know it's a Harbor Freight light maybe it goes bad and then you want to put a different one on now you're kind of stuck in with their mounting hardware versus if it's just a bolt on you can take it off and put on other mounting hardware that may may be more appropriate. Um, so we'll see kind of where I end up. Another idea as I work through this is I may come up with a U-bolt uh, design so that you can basically U-bolt this on. So uh, as we work through the project, we'll get that figured out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the two pieces that are gonna attach to the uh, mounts I bought. Uh, for the UTV, uh, I'm going to go three inches. I, I cut a piece that was two inches, did a dry fit, and I don't like the clearance on that, so go to three inches. So cut this with my Milwaukee chop saw. <laughs> Give that a second to cool and then I'll do another dry fit. So I've got my test fit here and you can see I've got my piece sitting on my mount here. And so I like the clearance so when we weld our piece across up here it should clear the clear the lip on this roof and should come all the way across and this is what my mount looks like. And so this fits very snugly on there, which is exactly what we want, because we don't want this to be able to go very far underneath the stress. So let's go ahead and cut another piece and start moving on to step two. So I've got these three inch pieces cut. So I made the first one here, drill, drill the hole with a half inch drill bit on this end, and then 
using my angle grinder over here. Um, I notched out uh, an area on this side so that you can feed the bolt through. And then I'll show you how that fits on the UTV. Uh, I'm going to drill the other one, so I'll show you how that works here. part of this so I've got you can see I've got the pieces cut I've got the bolts in both ends and now what I'm doing is I'm taking a measurement I'm just going to put my level on here and I'm put my level on here and mark a line because I want this basically to be even with the roof so when I set the bar on top and I weld it it actually looks um, it looks level because otherwise although you could just weld it right on the flat top there it wouldn't look as nice just given the fact that um, you know the, the, the bar will be tilted down and the feet will kind of look like they're on an angle so this is aesthetic it will have to be more aesthetic than functional but just something I want to do since I'm spending the time so I put my level there and you can see I marked my line all right time to make the crossbar I um, figured out that the length of this bar needs to be 57 and a half inches to go end to end. The other thing that I did, as I talked about, is I made um, angular, angular cut on these so that when it mounts, it'll mount more flat. And then made these things. We'll cut a little bit of a steel bar and I'm going to weld that onto the front. And then the uh, crossbar will weld onto these. This will make it so that, you know, whatever water and muck doesn't just drip down, although the bottom's open, so I don't know if that's that big a deal, but it'll keep some of the muck from coming down. And then what I did was I measured, so I have the light bar. And so what I did is I cut these pieces, which the light bar will attach to and bolt to. Um, so that's how the feet will go. And then the idea here is, is that light bar, I'm going to drill a hole through this, and I'm going to take this nut, and I'm going to weld it onto the back of this plate. And so this plate should just drop in there, and then I'll weld the plate to the tube steel. That will give this foot plenty of support, and I can sink the bolt right through this hole. It'll catch, it'll catch the nut on the other side. And I think we'll have a really, really nice setup um, for keeping that uh, attached to the bar. It'll be really clean. So you can see here, I marked the other side of it. And I marked the middle. And then I marked where this ends over here. And so I'll cut that um, in a little bit here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on some of the drilling. And then that should be it. Uh, time to start welding.
the mounts right here. And then these are the pieces that fit on top of the rail, which we have over here. You can see that the idea is that they'll fit right in there. And so what I did was I took these bolts to center them and we're gonna weld these bolts to the bottom. And then obviously that's how they'll stay in place when we put them down there. And that's our plan. So uh, let's do the fun part now. Let's get the welder out. And we'll go ahead and weld up this, this, these pieces on the front there. And then we'll get to the part where we weld these onto the crossbar. And then what I want to do is one final fitment with these on top of the Wolverine and possibly take some of my welding blankets here and probably weld these in place. Just kind of got to get a sense for the angle and a few other things um, because obviously we want that crossbar to be pretty well perfect on there for both aesthetics and strength. All right, so we got the feet welded. So what I've done now, you can see, there's my two welds. And then, obviously I don't wanna get any welding slag on this, 
So what I'm, what I'm, but I do want to make sure that this is a perfect fit. So what I'm doing here is I've bolted these. Um, let me tighten this bolt just a little bit. I bolted these feet to my uh, to my mount that my little weldments, so that I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they perfectly fit inside of these holes on the light bar and then I'm going to tack weld it and then I'm going to at, at a low voltage so that I don't have a lot of slag that can cause any problems mar this glass and then at that point we're basically good to go and then I'll take the light I'll take the light bar off and I'll finish weld everything so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you can see we also finish welding these let them cool everything looks good so these are my two mounts so we'll get these bolted on once I get these uh, weldments in and we'll go ahead and do a tack weld on the Wolverine and that'll basically be the end. Okay, you can see here we got the light bar done. I mounted the light bar on it. It's on my Wolverine. Um, I think it actually looks really good. So um, the final stop for this is the powder coaters. And then I'll permanently uh, attach uh, this with the bolts and be off to do some riding. <laughs>